second chance challenge match in the tag team tournament. Making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 479 pounds, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Well, one guy, man. David, you speak up about that innocent attack, what they uh, did to get to this point. I mean, it left everyone in shock. Yeah, it's just despicable the way to describe it. Well, well, let's now. take you back to SmackDown Live and the semifinals where the Usos, that's the prize up for grabs, the newly minted SmackDown Tag Team titles, but the Usos were in action against American Alpha. And we thought they were going to show some sportsmanship after being beaten in lightning quick fashion, but they snapped. No, it's that they suckered him in and just went to town on Chad Gable. Look at this. Oh! That was absolutely disgraceful. He specifically targets someone and they bring it to them. To me, it's something that doesn't belong in sport. I understand the frustration, but I don't approve. According to Commissioner Shane McMahon, Chad Gable suffered a sprained MCL. American Alpha eliminated from the final, but there's the tweet from Chad Gable. And to be perfectly honest, he's lucky all it was was an MCL. Could have they really are. They should get another team or something. And frankly, I don't agree with this right now. I can't believe the Usos are even getting this match. I mean, they're being rewarded for their poor sportsmanship. They're the last two that should deserve this match. The Hype Bros, maybe. But the Usos, absolutely not. You know it, bro. David, I certainly understand your sentiment behind that point of view, but if you give the Hype Brothers a second chance, you got to give the Usos a second chance, because you're only the ones that were in the semifinals that anyway would merit this opportunity. Personally, I think the Usos should have been suspended, not given a second chance. And what they did after the match was inappropriate, that's when you deal with something outside the match. Don't forget, you can watch your favorite TV shows and movies online and get next day unlimited instant screening access to all of WWE's weekly programs, including Raw, SmackDown, Main Event, NXT, and Superstars. Visit Hulu.com for a free trial and start watching your favorite WWE shows today. So, the Usos have backdoored their way to another opportunity to make history tonight. The Hype Bros and the Usos in this second chance tag team match. The winners will battle Rhino and Heath Slater later tonight for the championships. Look, no matter what happened after the match, David, the Usos were simply surprised by American Alpha. I think that was the basis of their frustration. Uh, we were expecting this incredible matchup that we would wait for some time to see, and all of a sudden, America Alpha wins the match in 30 seconds or less. Oh, and and American Alpha was great. I mean, that's what it was. The Usos tried to jump them, and American Alpha turned it around. They were the better team. Quick start here by Mojo Rawley, the former Red Iron Gladiator on this opening weekend in the NFL, and he's down to a three-point stance. So let's not forget, the Hype Bros get a second chance here now, too. And I know Mojo prepares like a madman. He's been watching game film all week, so they have a different game plan coming into this. He prepares like a madman. He is a madman. What are you talking about, Alex? Oh, 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 oh. Back body drop. There's a method to his madness, though. Hey, the guy is good buddies with Gronkowski. What do you expect? He's an athletic freak and half crazy. That's why people love him. Do you see how Mojo comes out here and he's always hyped up? Do you know what's behind that? He gets the crowd, the WWE Universe involved, and makes every match a home game. Yeah, as good as the Usos are, they have been the... Almost got a cover. As good as they are, they have been the premier tag team in the division for the last number of years. I think Mojo Rowley is the wild card here. It is so hard to prepare for somebody that is almost impossible to hold for because he doesn't know what he's going to do. You're right. The Usos have been the premier tag team for about three years now, but the problem is they're letting their emotions get the best of them. 
Former two-time WWE Tag Team Champions. Face buster by Zack Ryder in this. Smashing those forearms into the face of Uso in the corner. That's what a good tag team does. Smart move. Oh! Let's not forget, Zack always ups his game when it's a big match. Big elbow from Zack Ryder. Low bridge! Oh, Missile drop kick from the apron by Zack Ryder! It's like the fridge when he used to bump in all the sidelines. You also had something to do with sports entertainment a while back. And you know what this new attitude by the Usos, they're not even sporting their war paint. We can tell you that's Jimmy Uso being rolled into the ring. So if they've dispatched with some of their tradition in looking for a, well, they're also a slow start. They've dispatched with some of their strategy as well, trading in for emotion. Ooh, Zack Ryder telegraphed the back body drop. Tag was made, it comes Jey Uso. I'm not sure Zack knows that tag was made. Oh! Doesn't matter. An opportunity to challenge Rhino and Heath Slater for the newly minted SmackDown wow. Tag Team Champion. Short off clothesline there by Jey Uso. And a brutal assault on Zack Ryder by the Usos. Ooh. Usos defeated the Ascension in the opening round, eliminated by American Alpha, side press. And here's where the Usos turned it around. The tag made, right there. Try to try to catch him, but that comes are just too much in a place that he didn't want to be. Mike Rose defeated the Bot Villains in the first round before they were eliminated by Heath Slater and Rhino, but again, an opportunity. The Edict passed down by SmackDown Live GM Daniel Bryan, Pendulum Backbreaker by Jay. Wow. The problem with Zack Ryder here is that Usos rarely ever make a mistake. They're just winners. Two-time tag champs. There he goes. Many tag team of the year. Snap, suplex, cover, only a two count. And that's why they got so upset when they got surprised by American Alpha. And look at there, what you expect? Number one trend worldwide, WWE Backlash. That's because we're really the A show. You are correct, Mr. Otunga. Ryder back up to a vertical base. Coming back with those right hands, blocks the kick. Oh! Spinning roundhouse kick by Jimmy Uso. Usos have been good since the day they walked into this company. I think they're absolutely at their best right now. They're as focused, they're as determined. Double team. Oh, and the O oh, to wow. their late Uncle Umaga. The running hip attack into the corner. I mean, greatness is in their blood. This is all they know, all their family knows is winning. And they didn't quite get all of that. Zack Ryder is pretty lucky. There are great uncles, of course, WWE Hall of Famers, the Wild Samoans, Appa and Sika. They're a part of the Samoan sports entertainment dynasty. And Jay goes down for the cover, continues to wear down Zack Ryder. There's your hold, Marl. Your chin lock being employed there by Jake Uso. Just wearing down Zack Ryder. They're doing an excellent job of keeping him in the ring and not letting Mojo get in there. They're maintaining a terrific pace in continuing their assault on Ryder. Oh! Ryder lands on his feet. Yeah, hey, cool. Backbreaker counter. And he gets in the corner, though. And 
big thing here is that the longer this match goes, the better this is for Heath and Rhino, Rhino later on. The kinetic Mojo Rawley desperately wants oh, in. Oh, 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 and the kings of the double teams continue their assault on Zack Ryder. The Usos have a championship pedigree. Zack Ryder, Mojo Rawley, the Hypros, wanting their first shot at tag team glory. So you have to hand it to them there. Cohesion as a tag team of the rider now fighting his way out of hostile territory. It's just right on the right. This is his chance. This is his what chance. He didn't make the most of it. When we won the finals, this is it. Make that tag. This is your opportunity. Here we Game go. just changed. Mojo Rolly. Thank you. Steve Rowling, Jey Uso. This is the worst nightmare for the Usos. He is staying hyped with that stinger splash. The former gridiron gladiator taking it to Jey Uso. With the brother. There goes the brother. That's that strength. An incredible streak that moves on. Oh, what the hell did he just do? Press slam. Zack Ryder's been a tag team champ before. High pros looking for that high rider. He may have the opportunity now again. Jimmy Uso takes out Raleigh. European uppercut by Jay Uso stops Zack Ryder, who comes back on the forearm ship for a series of limited points. High risk because it's high stakes at backlash. Incredible teamwork of the Usos. David, what do you like most about the high pros and their tag team chemistry? Well, there's a mouth of this, a junction, but double knees by Ryder. Broski boot! It's one on two right now, though. Oh, shot block to the left leg of Zack Ryder by Jey Uso. Oh, it's been banned in the NFL. Should be got a disqualification here. But Same type of injury. Oh, oh good oh, knee! Oh, That's what they did to Chad Gable. They drop ball all over again. Oh, oh, exactly oh, what they did to the Alphas. This is what hurt American Alphas and we want Chad Gable to be in. Here are your winners by submission. The Uso! Single leg crab with the arm grapevine and the Usos find themselves right. in the Thanks. final of the inaugural SmackDown Tag Team title tournament. A second chance for the Usos. And believe me, these guys know how to take Still advantage of championship matches. Oh, oh, look at this chop block right to the back of Zack Ryder's leg. This spelled the end. Look at this kick. Oh. Trying to destroy the patella tendon of Zack Ryder. Look at Jimmy's face. Just no way. Got it tap. There it can be your three times. So the WWE Champion here in the Usos. Smackdown Tag Team Champions the Usos. The Usos have silenced the high pros, but the Usos will now battle Rhino and Heath Slater later tonight to determine who will walk out of backlash as the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Let's go to our Renee Young. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Heath Slater 
and Rhino. Hmm. Good way to put this. This is a little bit, but how does it feel let's to keep it. Be facing the Usos in the finals for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Well, I mean, the Usos, they're not going to get in their way, you know? We're focused. I feel like $100,000 right now. I feel like that guy off of Star Wars, you know, uh, the one that went around and fought the Empire alone, you know? I feel that good. That's, and, and this is Rhino, you know? And I'm telling you right now, nothing can stop a Rhino. That's how good I'm feeling. You hear me? I'll see you later. Thank you so much. You're always lovely and everything. Listen, man. I don't know what's going on inside here, but I'm freaking out a little bit. Beulah made this crab dip, but she used like artificial crab, so I don't think it was that. You know, I just, I don't know, my, my, my stomach's like flip-flopping. Um, I, I gotta win this, you know, I have to, and all this stuff. But are you okay? Like, I went like five times today. Like, five. We're still alive. Well, I mean, why? You, you've been swerved! Ha-ha! <laughs> I just was making sure, you know, you weren't nervous and everything, you know, and all that stuff. I was just, you know, the, I knew the cameras and everything was on. You should be nervous. Let's go out there and do this! Whoa. All right. Let's keep it. I, I gotta go. I'll be back. I gotta go. I have to go to him. Well, once again, it is going to be he's fighting for his job. He better find a way to fight through whatever father is. He and Rhino take on the Usos who get a second chance for the inaugural WWE Tag Team SmackDown Championship tonight. Till we make this 